Hello, good afternoon, friends. It's me, Teacher Tessa. And uh, I just wanted to start out by telling uh, all my fuzzy friends that I, I and all the teachers are so appreciative of all the beautiful notes that are hanging on our uh, window at school. It looks so beautiful. And also the nice little sidewalk chalk notes that, um, that was put on there. I think that is, it's just, it makes us feel loved and appreciated. Thank you so very much. Um, we also are just loving the rocks around the tree. Please, please paint your own little rock and, and, and decorate it and bring it to school outside the tree. It's looking so colorful and it makes our school look so beautiful. So please keep doing that. I'm going to make one, and I'm sure all the teachers are going to make one as well. Today, I am going to talk about my pets. This whole week, we're talking about family. So my family are my pets, and I am a big dog lover, as um, a lot of you know, a lot of the kids know, are you friends, that I'm a big dog lover. Um, I had three dogs, three dogs, and I have a picture of them here. They're called the Squad. And this one here is Louie, this was Alfie, and this is China. Those are my three musketeers. So, I have a picture right here. This is Alfie right here, and this is Louie. So, Alfie... He was with me for 13 years and I lost him last year. He's my little boy. He's my he's my oldest and um, I love him so much. He's a little little one, but he's had such a big heart and is full of love and so friendly. This one right here is Louie. And unfortunately, I lost Louie last Tuesday, last week. And um, I've had him for 14 years, and he is my love. He's my little boy. I call him my little boy. I know he was 14 years old, but, you know, he's just my baby boy. And um, they are very, very, very much a part of my family, and they are missed, and they are loved so, so very much. As you can see, I like to dress up my dogs. <laughs> but, yes. Um... If, do you have a pet? If you have a pet, I'm sure that you take such good care of your pets. But if it's a cat or a fish, a bird, do you have a lizard, or maybe a snake, maybe some hamsters? There, you can have so many. There's so many different types of pets, and you know we love and care for them so so very much. And yes, they are. They can be um, um, loved so much that they are part of your family. Um, I here have my baby girl. Here's China. Hi, China. So China is my baby girl. She is three years old. She just turned three years old um, on April first. So she's still a baby and we still have a lot of lot of love and a lot of love years um, with her so yes please uh, talk to your mom and your dad about you know how much your pet is a part of your family how much you love your dog how long have you had your pet and you know how do you take care of your pets there's so many important things to talk about with your family about um, you know, your dog or your cat or your bird or your fish, you know, there's so many different things that, you know, that, you know, you need to do to care for them and love them. So, um, China and I would like to read you a story. And so, since I like to dress up my dogs a lot, I thought maybe I'd do something special. So... We'll be reading you a, a nice little story. <laughs> so, 
so I decided to read a book called I'm a Unicorn by Mallory C. Lower, illustrated by Joey Chu. I wanted to pick this book because I love unicorns. I'm wearing a unicorn t-shirt. I thought, you know, maybe I'd like to have a unicorn as a pet. So, here's my china. Oh, she is not liking it, but she is my unicorn. And we're going to read a unicorn story, the unicorn story to you. No growling. You're okay. Here, I'll sit you right here next to me. Oh, you don't like it, huh? You don't like it. Okay, you just... You lie right there. My unicorn wants to lie down on my lap. <laughs> okay. I'm a unicorn. I am moonlight white. I have a magical horn. I look like a horse, of course. I'm a unicorn. My horn can make water clean or heal a hurt. See the horn? It's making the water clean. And see the fox? It's got an owie and it's crying. So the horn is gonna heal it. It's got magical powers. I am strong and fierce. Ooh. Strong and fierce. See the lion? Just like a lion. I am sweet and gentle, playing with the kids and another dog. I frolic in the forest. He loves to play in the forest. I prance in the fields. I am a force of nature. I am a unicorn. Sometimes I gallop in my in my herd. He likes to gallop. Oh, look at all the different unicorns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a herd of unicorns. So if you see a lot of unicorns, it's a herd. We play hide and seek. Can you find us all? Can you find all the unicorns? I see one here. Two. Another one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you see any more? I think I got all of them. Eight. I see eight. Other times, I love to be alone in the quiet of the dawn. Shh. Ooh. It's watching the moon, sitting on a rock, watching the moon.
I am magic. I am mystery. I am a unicorn. Do you believe in me? I believe. I would love to have a unicorn as a pet. I believe in you. The end. I am a unicorn. I love this book because I love unicorns. See? And here's my baby girl with her little unicorn magic horn. Okay. I am going to put my unicorn away and then we're going to be doing an activity together. So hold on tight and stay tuned. We're going to do an art project. Hi friends, it's me again and we are going to make our art activity. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to do some tearing and some gluing and we're going to make a, a really cool picture of a pet. So this is one that I made and it's a kitty cat. See that? See? And we're going to do this. It's a really fun and easy project and um, mom and dad can help. I'm going to be making a dog so we can do this together and you can do whatever animal or pet that you have. You can do a fish or you can do a bird or a snake, but I'm going to do a dog. All right, so what I need is I have some paper. I have a bunch of construction paper right here. I've got glue and I've got a pencil. I also have this right here, a paper plate. So this is where I'm going to tear up my pieces of paper and I am going to put it in here. All right, so this is what I will be doing. First, I'm gonna take some brown paper and I am going to take it and I'm gonna tear it up like this. As you can see, this, see? I'm gonna do a bunch of And this is what I have so far. We're gonna do a lot of tearing. So this is really easy. You can do it with your mom and your dad or your brother and sister. They can tear. It's, it doesn't take um, a lot of effort. It's easy. Like this. You can tear into big pieces or small pieces. Now, if you do it in smaller pieces, I noticed that it takes the project takes a little bit longer. So I'm gonna do kind of big pieces like this big. Like this. Alright. I'm gonna do it a little bit more here. Like this. See? Perfect. All right. Okay, I'm also going to do a different color. I wanted to do a different color, so I'm going to tear some of this paper right here. And I'm going to put it in here as well. Some of my paper. Okay, friends. So I did, I tore all my papers here. I did two different colors. I did some black for the eyes. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get my pencil and I'm going to draw in my dog. So this is what I'll do first. I'm going to make it kind of a, so my dog's head is going to be 
like a triangle like this. Like this. See the triangle? All right. Okay, so I have a triangle for the head. I'm going to make the ears. So I'm going to make triangles here in the corner. Like that. So, friends, you can ask your mommies and your daddies to help you. Maybe a big brother or sister. So this is the head. And this are the ears. And I'm going to do a triangle going down. what my dog is going to look like. I have a big triangle for the head, two triangles for the ears, a triangle for the body. I got two like squares on the bottom and then a tail right here at the back. So this is my outline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to outline my big triangle head and friends you can ask your mommies or daddies to help you with this okay we don't want to get too much glue on there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting on my construction paper and all you just need to Put it on like this. See how I'm doing it? Just putting it inside where the glue is. It's really easy. It's like a mosaic. Do you know what a mosaic is? A mosaic is when you get a bunch of piece, a little, um, little pieces. Mainly you do ceramic mosaic and you stick them together to make a picture like little pieces like this something like a paper mosaic my i'm getting there there you go I need a little more blue here. I'm going to put some blue here and here. And it's okay if you put it on top of the paper. You can pile it on top. doesn't matter. Overlapping the paper is okay. It gives it texture, a, a different kind of feeling. So it's not smooth. It's a little rough, which we like. We, we like texture. So see, I did the head. Okay, I'm going to do one ear and I'm going to make it a different color. I'm going to make it a dark and I'm going to go over. See how I made the triangle over the ear? So I'm going to put some glue on top. Like so. And I'm gonna do this. If it's too big, if your piece is too big, you can just tear it. It's okay.
in my ear. All right. So I'm going to keep continuing to put the glue on and filling it in and we'll see what it comes out as. Okay friends, I just finished my dog, right here, here it is, see my dog? So I used the darker colors for the ears and I made a little blue collar right here and I got some black eyes and a nose and I used different colors for the tail, I even did a different, I did a, a, a two-toned here at the tip of the tail and his little legs right here. You can do this with your pet. You can do a cat like I did right here. Here's my cat. Or you can do the dog. You can do a fish. You can do a frog. You can do a hamster, a mouse. Whatever you would like. You know, it's your pet. And they are a member of your family. So this is like, this looks like my little um, china right here. So I'm going to, um, you know, name it China. So um, I hope you like. Um, I hope you liked what we made, and I hope you make um, a lot more. It's really easy. Help have your mom and your dad help you with the glue and the tearing, and maybe drawing out the um, picture. And all you need to do is fill it in. It's really easy. It's really fun. Okay. That's it for my activity. Bye and thank you. See you next week. And I miss you and wash your hands.